put the cream in the whiz and we think it'll get thicker. Cream in the blender. The whiz, Arabelle. All of it. All of it. Mm -hmm. All the way in. Good girl. Join up Show me how you do it then. And go away. Push it down. <laughs> Hold it okay, down. What's happened to the cream so far, Anna? Oh. It has got it thicker. It's got thicker. It's not thick enough to eat. Okay, so we're going to. What are we going to do with the lid? Good boy. Until it changes to yellow. Separated it, Rosie. The icy cold water. Out the butter belt. We're going to get more buttermilk out. How do we do that? <coughs> by squishing it together, by squeezing it out. Okay, press stop. So what am I doing, Anna? Um, you're squishing the butter. Why am I squishing the butter? Um, so we can eat it. What are we getting out of it? The buttermilk. Okay, so if you look carefully. Wow. Squeezing mm. out the buttermilk. Mm. Stop. So we've now got what, Bella? The butter. And the milk. And how did they separate, Bella? By the cold icy water. Water had a reaction with the fat and the butter, and that caused it to separate. Welcome to our first stop, where we'll see how grass is turned into milk. Check this out. We eat 70 kilograms of grass per day. 
grass is really hard to digest, so us cows have four stomachs. That's probably why we eat so much. The grass goes through our first two stomachs where it's broken down, then squashed into a cud which we burp, oh, sorry, back into our mouths and chew again for one minute. Burping and talking with your mouth full? Don't do that at the dinner table. Then it's into our last two stomachs and it's broken into tiny pieces that move into our bloodstream and turned into nutrients that go into our udders where it turns into milk. And then we're milked here. These cups go on our teats. Uh, and extract the milk. <sighs> then it's into a tank and collected by milk tankers. Now I'm off to the dairy factory to show you what happens next and to give them all a big pat on the head for their great work looking after our milk. No, not that kind of pat. <sighs> Bye. Welcome to the dairy factory. This tank's where the milk's unloaded from the tankers before it's pumped into the factory. These are so the milk doesn't get contaminated. The milk travels from the holding tanks, then into this machine called the separator, where it's spun around really quickly. This separates the cream from the skim milk. Then they're carefully mixed together to give you different types of milk. Lots of cream for blue, just a little bit for green. Next, the milk has to be homogenized. That's when the milk's heated up, then pushed through a tiny hole, breaking up the skim milk and cream particles so they're all the same size. The next step is pasteurization. The milk's heated to 72 degrees Celsius, then cooled really quickly to 3 degrees Celsius, killing the bacteria. This happens so quick, if you don't watch really closely, the process could go pasteurize. Get it? Pasteurize? The milk just has to be bottled. Then it's ready for you to enjoy.